Hi y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Rhonda with Rhonda Thomason Acrylics and Clocks. And let me tell you what I'm doing today. This is a practice piece that I did last week. It has resin on it. And you can see it's just a thin um, Walmart canvas and I posted it on my Facebook page and someone wanted to buy it so I sold it to her and um but see the back like I said it was a practice piece I like the backs of my paintings all nice and neat and if I'm gonna sell a painting I like quality premium canvases. So, I got to thinking and I said, I can't do that. Um, you know, it's my reputation and my name on the line. So, I contacted her and told her that uh, I could not sell her this piece. That I was going to have to do another one. And that she could have this one. To go with it because after all it was just a test piece it did turn out beautiful though didn't it okay but anyhow that's what I'm doing today Julie honey this is for you I'm gonna use the same colors um, And y'all seen the video uh, before this video here, I showed you um, the finished product of my last video. And I was so happy that it sold fast because I hadn't sold anything in a while. And um, I was needing some supplies. So it, it was a big help. It couldn't have come at a better time. But anyhow, this is my pillow paint. We're doing the bloom technique today. This is Sherwin Williams Color to Go and Indigo Batic. And we are going to just go ahead and do this thing. All right. Spread it out to the edges. I like to have something for my paint to slide on when it's when I spin it out. And thank you for watching my video. If you've never seen my videos before, please subscribe to my channel and tap the like button. I've been doing my channel for five months, and I've been painting for two years. Last month was two years, and um, but yeah, I've only been doing this channel for five months, and yes, I still get nervous, as everybody knows. I have a Facebook group. And I'll put the link in the description below. There's 8,300 members. Artist and non-artist. You don't have to be an artist to join my group. And it is a private group. So everyone is screened before joining. And uh, so, you know, we try to keep the riffraff out. Let me get a spoon. I'm going to put some paint around my edges. And also, at the beginning of the video, you saw um, how I take my painting to dry after I take it off the spinner here. You want to make sure that it's going to be level. Because I'll show you a painting I did yesterday, here in just a minute, that 
wasn't level when I put it down to dry. And my cells got wonky. It was, it turned out to be a pretty painting, but I, um, uh, it was real pastel-y. I don't, I wish there was more darker colors in it. Let me turn it around here and get this side. That's what I like about the spinner. You can just bring it to you. Okay. I love that color to go paint this stuff here. And there's no bubbles. That's what I was bragging about in my last video. OMG. Okay. Let's jump right in. I'm serious. I don't even have any bubbles I need to pop. This is Prussian Blue with some Carbon Black added to it. Um, I can't find the lid. Here it is. And I, did, I didn't put what brand of Prussian Blue, so. Oh, I know what it is. It's Amsterdam. Amsterdam Prussian Blue with Golden Carbon Black. I wanted to darken it up a little bit. Okay. We're going to be having a lot of piggies in this. What will I do next? Some billabong. This little piggy billabong. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you, there's going to be a um, mixing video. I'll show you how I mix my paints. But this right here is what I use to thin my paints if they're too thick. Golden high flow medium. And that's what happened on this. So I just put a few drops in there and stir it up. Alright. Did y'all see the shimmer in that painting that I did last week that I showed you? I cannot believe it sold so fast, too. Okay. Um, this is my Matisse Southern Ocean Blue. One of my favorite colors to use when I'm doing blues. Uh, this is Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine Bright Gold Fluid Paint. And also, in my mixing video that you're going to see at the end of the painting, I forgot to tell you about the cell activator. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, this is Old Holland iridescent blue I'm gonna put my tourmaline this is primary elements pigment it's a turquoise it's tourmaline I 
I can hear my chickens clucking through the window here. Um, <laughs> and this is another pigment that um, I can't remember the company I got it from. It's Midnight Sky. Look at that. But it is deep, dark, mysterious blue. And I'm going to put some more of it on here for some... Um, effects. Okay. Uh, this is another one. From TLP, Waterfowl. Uh, and golden teal. We're going to do the teal. I'm going to show y'all something else, too. My sticks. Oh. Look at this. A thousand of them. For $15 on Amazon. <laughs> oh, what a deal. Okay, this is golden teal. It's a fluid paint that I use. And then I'm gonna top it with abalone for the shimmer. That's the thing about fluid art, you can't never get the same results in any two paintings. I gotta thin this one down a little bit. Um, so yeah, there's no way it'll turn out like the other painting. But let's just cross our fingers that it's just as pretty in its own way, right? I think it needs just another drop. And if you don't have any of that golden high flow, you can just use the uh, Joe Sanja to thin it. This is about gone. I've done mixed up more because I didn't know if I'd have enough or not. My husband's in there playing with his guitar. Okay, and you know what? I think I want just a little bit more of this dark. for contrast. Okay, and I told you I was going to show you, uh, tell you about the cell activator. My cell activator is made with the Australian flow trial. In the description, I'll show you how you can uh, purchase it. And carbon black paint by Triart, right here. Now everyone, if you watch YouTube videos of um, the bloom technique, acrylic pouring bloom technique, you'll normally see that people say three to one. Three parts of the Australian flow trial to one part paint. But I'm telling you, there's really no recipe 
because it's all about consistency. You want your pillow paint to be the thickest. You want your colors to be thinner than your pillow paint. And you want your cell activator to be thinner than your colors. Not real thin, but a little bit thinner. Okay, now we're going to, some bubbles have come to surface here. You don't want bubbles in your painting, especially if you're using a white base. It leaves like white freckles. All right. Let me move some of this stuff. I don't want the spinner hitting it. I think everything's out of the way. My paintings are for sale. This one isn't, but um, just leave me a comment. And I do commissions too. I'll paint you one and the colors and size of your choice. Okay. Y'all, let's do it. I hope I didn't get too much of that cell activator. I think I might have. I used the condenser. Um, and it's got a cool shot. I don't know what brand this is. But, y'all, let's do it. I love that trial art paint, y'all. For your cell activator, I got that tip from watching YouTube videos. Um, one day, I'm, I'm going to have to show you a side-by-side. -side. I'll do one using the Amsterdam Oxide Black and uh, one using the trial art Carbon Black. Okay, what I'm doing right here, I'm waiting on some, the cells to, to come through. And you can help them with a straw. There we go. I see them. I left my little uh, thing that I draw with here in the paint. <laughs> it's got dried paint on it. Uh, that's the bad thing about the downfall to acrylic pouring is a mess. But anything you do that you enjoy, uh, you got cleanup, right? If you enjoy a good meal, you're going to have to wash the dishes. Okay, the cells have come through. Julie, I hope this turns out beautiful for you, honey.
All right. We're going to do our designs. I'm going to start over here. There we go. And you know what? I still don't see any bubbles. Wow. Okay, y'all. We're going to spin this beauty out. Let's cross our fingers that it's going to be a beauty, okay? Here we go. You just you want to keep spinning until you um, get most of the paint off. You don't want your paint to move. I don't like that big black spot right there. Y'all see that? So it's coming off. There it goes. I need to put some paint on, on the side over here. And there on the corner, you always gotta, I don't like to hit the corners sometimes. edges of my paintings to be as pretty as the top, the, the design. Oh, we better move that. In my video, uh, I think number 22, where I'm selling uh, some of my paintings half price, I mentioned um, in the video about my guardian angel. And I've had some uh, comments from friends uh, stating that they would like to hear the story. And um, I can tell you the first time that I saw my guardian angel, I was about six years old, I think. And I was in the back seat of the car going down the highway. My stepmother was driving and my daddy was in the passenger side and he was drunk and I was in the back playing with the door. I thought I was playing with the window. I had no seat belt on but I wasn't playing with the window. I was playing with the door handle and I accidentally opened it. Well, I was on my way out the door and my daddy caught me by the back of my pants and jerked me back in the car. And I was crying. He was up front cussing and yelling at me. And I'm just a bawling. And I, there's a knock on the back windshield of the car. And I turn around and look. And y'all, it was the most beautiful sight to behold. The biggest, most beautiful, glorious, blonde-headed angel. I have a little sister that died when I was two years old. And she was nine months old. Her name was April Michelle, and she died of pneumonia. And I still, to this day, think that she's my guardian angel because she had the blonde hair. My angel had the blonde hair. <coughs> but anyway, she was knocking on the window, and she, she just done that and waved at me with this big, beautiful smile. Each wing had to have been at least 50 feet. I mean, she was big. And... um 
I've just had her walk with me through life ever since. Um, I could just tell y'all a lot of stories. I've been set on fire. Um, I, I fell backwards through a four foot by four foot glass coffee table. And I'm screaming for my husband. And he comes running in there to help me. And there's four foot shards of swords. They're pointed. And the glass was about a, a half an inch thick. Coming out around my neck. Between my legs. All around my whole body. Just swords of glass. And y'all, I didn't get a scratch. And it's just moments like that that um, makes me aware of a higher power, right? Oh, y'all, <laughs> this is pretty. Um, okay, now what I do is I check to see how deep the paint is, and it is good. It will dry okay. And then I showed you, showed you guys over here on the other end of my table where I'm going to take it to dry. Julie, honey, your painting is beautiful. <laughs> Let me get your other one. And uh, we'll compare them, okay? I just got to be careful and I don't get no paint on it. There's a lot more gold in this one. Of course, this one isn't dry yet, so. And I see lots of gold in it already. There we go. One, two. All right. Let me put this up. And I will sign off till the next video. Thank you for watching. And thank you for your patience with my nerves and my chee chee chat chat mouth. <laughs> um, please subscribe. Watch my videos and subscribe. Um, my PayPal account link is below if you'd like to help me with a small, um, any kind, $2, $3, it will all add up. And um, I will show you on camera what your donations purchases because it all goes to this stuff, paints, canvases, um, Popsicle sticks, cups. I could go on and on and on. It's a long list. But we are going to put this beauty over here to dry. And I'll see y'all next time, okay? Y'all have a good evening. Let me sit her down. Okay. Bye.